So today again it's cooking with the babies. Ohayo! Ohayo gozaimasu! Lisa chan, Charlie Boy, the, the future star of Instagram, Charlie Boy, my boy. So as promised today, I'm going to try and cook that uh, French bread. The thing is that I haven't cooked it for uh, like many years, so I hope this goes smoothly. I kind of hesitated, I thought maybe I should make just a, a simple video that I would upload if uh, it would turn out good, but you know, it just takes too much time to upload, so I'm doing it live. And uh, merci, <laughs> merci Dan. Um, I'm doing it live because uh, it's just fun. If, I mean, even if I mess things up, you will get a good laugh and me too. So I'm going to put the babies back on the sofa. You go back there. Voila. Voila. And um, so French bread. In French, it's pain perdu. And uh, pain perdu, I think French people, hi Stan, they started uh, making it because perdu means lost. Like, no, not lost. It's uh, that would go to a waste. So uh, I think that French people started making it uh, to not to waste bread. So usually it would be bread that actually had. Uh, is becoming a little bit like uh, hard, you know, and all uh, dry because as we soak it in milk, the ingredients milk, very easy. Everybody has milk, eggs, and sugar. I recommend brown sugar. I think that um, white sugar is not sugar. It's not good for the health because it's too processed. But that's my choice. Um, and then you need the bread. That obviously today nobody uses bread that is almost going to have, uh, you know, champignon, <laughs> like mushrooms in there. But uh, it's nevertheless very good. And uh, I think that it's always the same people watching me so I can, you know, follow on explaining what I was explaining yesterday. Thank you for being with me again today. So yesterday, you know that I uh, tasted um, Mr. Nalita's super delicious bread that has potato in it. And uh, I thought I would make the pain perdu, the French bread with it. But the thing is, I actually bought last week. This is what uh, Japanese people call hotel bread. If you come here, I recommend that you try hotel bread because I checked out a word. <laughs> the inside of the bread, you call that crumb, right? This is the crust <laughs> and the inside is the crumb. <laughs> so why am I going to use this one? Because I think that the crumb is uh, th uh, thicker and I think that it would it's going to enable me to make my french bread um have you ever tried the um, hawaii hawaiian style french toast i think it is so good because of the bread and i thought that maybe this hotel bread would uh, be a little bit similar to the hawaiian bread they used to make hawaiian toast so I am going to try, I'm just going to show you the difference of the crumb. Hopefully you can um, see it. But I'm going to keep Narita San's bread to make maybe this week um, croque monsieur. And I will show you how to make also croque madame. Voilà. Alors, can you see how thick it is inside this uh, hotel bread? I think you can see it's very um, compact, voila, and it's heavier. Okay, 
So the thing is, I haven't made French bread, pain perdu, in years. And I think I have kind of a um, particular recipe. So I will do it my way today. And because I checked earlier the recipes online and it's like, yeah, I, I'm not doing this. Uh, I'm not doing it this way, but it's okay. Yes, uh, I am using cane sugar. Voila. So let's do it my way. If it works out well as it used to be, very good. If not, let's just have a good, uh, good laugh. So I need a knife. Voila. Alors, I see many things appearing on my screen. If you don't mind, I'm just going to, to make a test if I press this. No, nothing happens. Okay, good. <laughs> you know, I'm still new to this, so. And yesterday also, I, I, uh, I said, you are troubling me. I'm sorry, this is not what I wanted to say. I wanted to say that I could not concentrate. But in French, when we say, you tr uh, vous me troublez, it means you make me all, ah, I don't, I don't know what to do or what to say. So you don't trouble me at all, okay, guys? I love you. And honestly, thanks for being with me always. Okay, so let's start the... <laughs> yes. I also have... I'm trying to improve in this, uh, the quality. Look what um, I have installed. Today. This. The camera is on... Hehe, <laughs> books, voila! So I thought maybe you, you, we would get a better angle. Alors, this is not cooking, this is just getting crazy with Jennifer, but voila, good angle. What do you say? Isn't it better? Voila. Um, so all you need, again, is the bread. Pain de mie. Milk sugar cane, cane sugar, eggs, and also, sorry, I forgot the bread. Uh, no, 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 pardon, attends. I forgot the, um, to say butter. We will uh, cook the bread in butter. And uh, I always try to bring back butter from France because in Japan it's, it is so expensive. Like this Eshire butter, in France, it costs like two or um, three dollars. Here, it costs something like twenty dollars. And also, I really like. I think that French butter is tastier than uh, Japanese war, uh, butter. Sorry about that, Japan. So I try and bring back butter. When I'm really desperate, I buy it here, <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm like, oh my God, oh my God, you're going to have to chip in guys, you know, because it's so expensive. Also about ingredients for those who live in Japan or will come to Japan. Look at this. <laughs> Cooking is not, so, is not starting yet. She was so cute. Chewbacca, nani yatteru no? My little Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Okay, she stopped. Anyways, voila. When people will not, many people will not watch this, so I will put in the description. The cooking starts at minutes, okay? Um, yeah, ingredients. I, I try and buy organic stuff as much as possible. And uh, as for milk, this brand is one of the brands I recommend. There is another that I that is even better than that than this one, but this one is pretty tasty and it's organic, and it's something like four point five dollars, but um, it's worth it. And um, someday I will show you another brand that comes into a glass bottle and it's oh my god so tasty when i open it there is a cream on top of it so i will show you that someday but it's something like seven dollars the, the the i think it's one liter anyways shall we start cooking <laughs> okay yes alors okay down 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 i haven't had breakfast yet as usual so 
let's take out the one million dollar ring and put it on my present where is my present voila for those who were with me yesterday voila, my present can be used to put my ring on it voila very nice okay so i'm going to cut the hotel bread i don't know if uh, hotel bread exists in other countries I have never heard about uh, hotel bread in France, but um, I'm making, oh my, it's not going the right way, but it's not such a thick slice. It's let's say normal slice, maybe. Voila. Okay. I kept the bread. I'm <laughs> not, very, not very straight, but I need to buy a big knife. It's not uh, as thick as yesterday, but uh, it should be okay. You can make it thicker, I think. Voila. Ah, no. I need another. <laughs> Lisa Chan, tu m'aides, ma chérie? Then. What I do is. Okay, I think I should mix the, um, we should mix, Attends. <laughs> we should mix the egg, okay, what, I, Attends. okay, I need to explain this, I think that what people do usually is that they mix the milk, the eggs, um, and the sugar and then they dip in the bread. I have never done it this way. What I do is that I put some uh, milk first and then I uh, dip it into the egg and sugar. This is the way I do it and uh, usually it's good. So I'm going to do it my way. So we put the egg in the cat's uh, plate. I just put one egg because I'm going to make one. Voila. Attends, uh, I need the fork. <laughs> it's so simple. This is not cooking. Huh? Voila. Put a little sugar. Not too much sugar in because this is not my taste, but I think you can put more. Voila. Try and mix nicely. I should have taken a, a, a deep plate, but I wanted to show you my cute Neko, Neko plates. Voila. Should be okay. A little bit more. We can add some more sugar, I think. Voila, Charlie, Lisa is getting interested in my cooking. She's there. And what I do is okay. Start. <laughs> I put it too much up. Um, I put my slice of bread. And then I don't want to put too much milk on there so what i do i don't dip it i do it like this it might be in a weird way but this is how i like to do it some cat's hair as usual it's uh you never know when a cat's hair is going to pop out voila this is how i do it Ne? Soaked. It's soaked. Other side. Là, voilà. Okay, some comments. We oui, it's a lace. Uh, yes, it's a lace, late breakfast because I don't like to eat first thing in the morning, and as I don't have to go out today. I think I will have probably lunch at something like 2 p.m., you know. Voila. 
So then when I do it this way, I think I like to do it this way because then the side is not soaked and you still have some, um, how to say, um, it doesn't get all so moist. So this is why I like to do it that way. And then, okay, I was about to forget, that's the, um, the original recipe. And French people, voila, the firmness. I like to keep some firmness on the side. And uh, so usually it's just uh, mixing milk, egg and brown sugar. But what I thought I would do today is, <laughs> here is, the alcohol lover talking. I'm back. I'm coming back. I thought I would add some rum to it. Voila. I think this is going to turn out so oishi, delicious. I have no doubt about this. Basically, you know, any cakes you can uh, you can add some uh, rum. It really adds a nice flavor. And yes, the thing is, I don't like it when it gets too soggy. Thank you, Von. Um, thanks, guys, for telling me all the words. Huh? This is nice. Hopefully, in a year, you won't have to help me that much. So let's put some uh, rum in that mix. Can you see? Yes. Voila. Just one spoon because uh, it's just one egg and two small te teaspoons of uh, two te teaspoons of sugar. So maybe I shouldn't overdo it. Mm, that smells so so good. <laughs> and is a chang. Mm, that smells. Oh my god. Really good. Voila. Um. Okay, what we are going to do is put, let me put some butter and start heat the fry pan over there. We'll go over there. Some butter. Okay, I put it at the lowest level so that uh, ah, I'm thirsty. So that the the butter starts melting. Okay, so now I put my um, bread into this. Now I want to put the fire louder, uh, higher. Well, I just soak. Soak. La. And I'm going to go over there. This is getting too soaked to me, but voila. And it's very soaked. Huh? Uh -huh. La. <laughs> it doesn't take that long when I'm on my own. Huh? And then put, mm, that looks good already, I think, in the fry pan. Voila. You can see. Voila. We take this out. I'm coming back. Huh? Now I can put this down, maybe. I think it's. Uh, what else? I have put new angle <laughs> in the house. I have put um, um, the fire at, at say, uh, mid level. So, um, how do you say that? Mid, um, not high, <laughs> not high strength. <laughs> you understand, it's okay. Thanks for the chipping, guys. 
Um, I am new to this too, so this makes me very happy. Medium, okay, medium, medium fire, medium high. Yeah, it's medium high, I think. Look, I will let you listen to the sound. Uh, hold on a second, what I want to do is that. No, sorry, I didn't want to show you. <laughs> voila. Then I'm going to check how it looks under in a few. I'd say, um, Can you hear? Yes, it smells very good. Okay. No, it's because like yesterday, I should put this up. But yesterday, you know what my dinner was? It was just strawberries, guys. Sometimes I, I have to be reasonable. If not, I would be like this. I think we're, we can um, turn this. Let me see. Attends, no, you don't need to see me. Voilà, mm, yeah, oh my, it smells even better now. Voilà, so I'd say it's probably like about two minutes. Yeah, ooh, nice. Woohoo, woohoo. Attends. No, the other way. Voila, sorry, it's taking time. Voila, there he is. There? Yeah. Mm. Nice, I'm going to have breakfast with you today. Yes, what you need is to have I think, in my opinion, it's nice when the outside is a little bit uh, crunchy and the inside moist, but not too moist. So we'll see in a few if I made it well. Oh la la! <laughs> Don't go away! No, so I did not put cinnamon, I could, but this time I made it with uh, rum. So I will put the, the ingredients in the description. So I think I'm going to just put it a little bit down. And maybe it's almost done. I think I don't need to cook it. Yeah, perfect. It always goes quicker um, on the other the side. Voila. It's a shoot. Put this in a plate already. Voila. See the other side? Like, and I cooked it not so long, so I'm not, maybe the other side looks better, even better, but uh, voila, guys. Looks good, huh? <laughs> yay, 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 yay. So, attends, so hold on a second. Oh no, okay, let's not change angles. I haven't tried, uh, filming from my table yet so once i have tried once maybe too many movements are not good I need... <laughs> no alors let me explain i usually i think that when something is good i don't like to mix up like i could add some maple uh, syrup etc but I like it plain I mean plain not plain but it, it I think this is going to be really good especially I put some rum in the um, egg and sugar thing so why add more sugary thing or other flavors this is not what I do what I could do is just so you can take a picture voila <laughs> but voila I could put you know some fruits with it but um, I like I like it simple. Voila. And okay, no, no more talking. I need to taste this. Voila, attends. Cut, cut. 
Yeah, and maybe next time I will put some more rum. Voilà. Voilà, voilà. Bon appétit mm. Mm. The rum. Bien bébé. Ah. Mm. The rum. It's so good. It has. I think it's nice. I well, well, maybe yes. I could have put more, but if I put more egg, uh, more rum. It will really, I think, cover the taste of um, the bread and the, the you know, the, the egg and the milk and a little bit of sugar. So I think, yeah, you can really, it's up to you. I mean, if you like sugary, if you like more sugar, you can put more sugar. You could put more rum. Also in France, we have um, like, uh, hold on a second. Let me check if I have some here, but we have what we call a sucre vanille. Let me see if I have sucre vanille. Sucre vanille, it's like a vanilla flavored, it's small packs like this. Ah, voila, I have sucre vanille. So I think, you know, I'm going to make a pain perdu sometimes. Uh, not only, this was the first recipe, kind of basic, well, the basic recipe even if I had some rum, but also, you know, you could add some sucre vanille. It's a vanilla flavored uh, sugar. So instead of putting the cane sugar, you could put uh, vanilla sugar. That would be one option. I put rum, but Armagnac. For those, if you have Armagnac at home, French people, they all have Armagnac in their homes. So you could put Armagnac, that would be good too. And uh, then, yes, of course, when you have a basic thing like this, you can add uh, anything you want, uh, jam. Th th I would not, but maybe, uh, yes, the maple syrup, syrup. Um, but then, you know, you can mix the ingredients, I think, the way you like. You can add more sugar if uh, you wanted to make it uh, more sugary. But this is the basic recipe. Do I put, yeah, I could put, okay, the question is, uh, do I put vanilla sugar inside or as a dusting? I could put, actually, I could, when I was cooking, I could put some uh, sugar on it to make it uh, more crusty. But as I don't like sugar so much, I do not. Voila. So that was the, like, I, I don't even know how many is this thing. Are ah, we oui, almost 30 minutes to make <laughs> such a simple thing, but it's because I talk too much. Um, but that was the basic recipe. What uh, I'm going to do is I have so many things to show you. Change of subject. We are done with the French uh, bread, the pain perdu. But I have so many things. See this corner, it's stuff I need to try to eat, taste and eat. I even got uh, recently some stuff from Canada. I was so happy when I got that parcel. And I'm really, really curious about this. Mr. Big. And also this, those uh, coffee crisps. So, you know, it's not going to be, my channel is uh, not going to be all, only about uh, Japanese stuff, but also, um, like, you know, ingredients, food that that's uh, surprising to me or that I want to taste. So I hope you will join me again on those uh, crazy food adventures. And uh, I'm, I don't know what's the plan this week, but uh, I will try and live, live stream more. I might actually be live streaming again in two or three hours when I have lunch, if I decide to open that uh, strawberry sparkling 
that uh, Japanese strawberry sparkling that uh, Mr. Tanno gave me the other day. Do you remember? I bet it would be really good with my um, with my pain perdu, but no. Um, oh no, oh, it's okay, you don't need to see the pain perdu, voila. So I think this is really interesting stuff and uh, yesterday I didn't drink at all. So today is Sunday, I think I'm going to drink. And I know I said I would try it with uh, my friends, but uh, you know, you have to drink and eat stuff when you feel like it. So um, I might be taste this in front of the camera in two, three hours if uh, I feel like drinking alcohol, okay? So merci beaucoup for joining me and uh, thanks for being my friends uh, and thank you for the chip-in that uh, really, I, I will buy more stuff than thanks to you and uh, I'll see you later or tomorrow or day after tomorrow, okay? We, uh, it's my, uh, did you see the, um, my unplanned birthday party? The chef, he gave me, that was a present from, from the chef. It is Ichigo, strawberry, sparkling, Japanese sparkling. So we can try this uh, together, <clears throat> maybe later on. This is Sunday, so. I'll see you later or very soon. Merci beaucoup. Moi, moi, moi. And uh, the babies are sleeping, so I will say goodbye and say see you later. Thank you, Yvonne. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye, Stan. Bye, Sean. Allez, okay, I'm cutting this. Huh? Ernest, okay.